Hello, greetings from Costa Rica. Wanted to showcase another uh, fruit today. This is the infamous jackfruit. Um, it's native to Asia. I'm not sure what country specifically it comes from, but uh, it's an amazing fruit. This fruit is what they modeled the juicy fruit gum flavor from, if you're familiar with that, the Wrigley's juicy fruit gum. Uh, they modeled the flavor from jackfruit. So. Jackfruit tastes like juicy fruit gum, it really does. Uh, or jackfruit gum tastes like, or the, the gum tastes like jackfruit. So uh, we're going to cut this open today and show you uh, what it looks like. Now to tell if a jackfruit is ripe, you want to see these brown spots all over it. They're starting to get a bad spot there. And it wants to be soft to the touch. And it, the aroma is the biggest giveaway. It smells like juicy fruit gum. Uh, it's really incredible smell. Um, so that's indi all indicators that this is ripe and ready to cut open. So I usually go along one side of the stem to the left or the right of the stem, not right down the middle. And then that way you can um, cut out the core a little easier. So you want to cut all the way through it. Okay, this one looks pretty good. A lot of fruit. Um, it's a yellow jackfruit. There's also an orange variety. There's quite a few varieties, but the fruit's always yellow or orange. Mm, it's a good one. Fruits here look a little undeveloped, but um, got a good flavor. A lot of fruit. The seeds can actually be eaten too if you're not a total raw foodie. You can boil the seeds and the, eat them. They taste kind of like a nutty potato. And they say that they have a lot of vitamin B12 in them, which I don't know if that's been scientifically verified, but that's the rumor. Um, I have eaten the seeds, boiled them and cooked them, and they're delicious. Um, and, but also, an average jackfruit has a hundred seeds or so, so you can start a whole food forest from this one plant, one fruit. So, this is the jackfruit. Delicious. One of my favorite fruits. Thanks.